Right, day three draw. I want to be Romanian. Look at him laughing because he's not MPEG, eh? Andre. Yeah. I want to be Romanian. Every time I'm not picking my peg, me, I'm not picking my peg, I have a very good draw. Yeah? When I'm picking my peg, it's the worst. And I, I'm the opposite. Yes. I'm the opposite. Ah, that's the MPEG, so I think Phil's first and then me, I think. Ah. I'm only thinking of F9 or F10. F10, please. are drawing the MPEGs for Mario Martinez. Crack how many MPEGs is They can't draw an MPEG, which is good. Yeah, that's good enough, isn't it? F8. Here we go. Phil Rigger. Come on, Philippe. Philippe! Phil Rigger. Phil Rigger. England. Ah, well. <laughs> 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 F2. Uh, it's Tommy. Tom Pickett. F2. Nine. Yes, nine. F1. F1. Wait, Bartolo. He wants, okay? Yeah. 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 Come on, Wayne now. F, F. Oh! Go on, Wayne. Do what? Ten, ten, ten. Much Six, oh, just all right. Christian Camera. E7. Not E1, wrong end again. Right, last day. And, uh, can't win out overall, I don't think, with my section, just for shit daily money, about 20th I think, something like that, but uh, it's been a cracking week again, best organised matches you'll ever come on, they're just somewhat different, should have been second section on the first day, and I was fourth yesterday, and about best I could be, I'd have took fourth after the weird away, you can't compete with them and pegs. Unless something strange happens. And I had four fish for nearly 13 kilo, so I can't, uh, you know, I've had four good fish, so it's what it is. I took my euros off the lads anyway. That's... So last day, and uh, I've gone E1. And E section is a, to be honest with you, I think if I could put my tackle anywhere, I'd put it maybe other end, but I think it's. I think there were 13 off this and there were a few fish in this area. It's a fair section, that's what I'm trying to say. So I can't grumble. I can't really grumble. Uh, it's been a sea out fisher today, but it's raining, as you can see. And uh, some of going to rain all day, which will make you all laugh, I know, and everybody's happy. But uh, look at this guy. Come here. Let me have a word. That, that's, one of the, that's the lady who organises it, one of the sisters. As usual, fantastic job. Um, but this is Chris Bolton, he's our Welsh Scottish man. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning. You're, you're actually Welsh, aren't you? I am Welsh. But, well, you, but you live in Aberdeen? I live in Aberdeen in Scotland. Yeah, and he's got a shop, aren't you? Baits and Weights Angling. There you Bankry. go, get on it because, um, say it again slowly. Baits and Weights Angling. So we can Bankry. understand you. And you can get all your, they sell nitro and focus, so it's a good shop, obviously. So, and that's in Aberdeen. So, have you enjoyed your first year? Awesome. Do you know yeah. what? I've heard so much negative about this fence. About all this experience, but I can tell you no. What an awesome experience! <laughs> Get on it. It's, this is the best one, isn't it? I mean, March is brutal. It's tough. I mean, we still love it, but it, it's brutal. Yeah, but, it is. But but this normally we we'll get sunshine. But what's happened to our sunshine? Why is there no sunshine? You don't know. One year no rain. Uh, yes, yeah, so and then rain now. blame us the English. Yes. <laughs> last last week. Very rain, very, very rain. Really, right, there you go. So, you're coming back, obviously. Oh, definitely. Right. And to be on the next peg, next to a legend, Tommy, Tommy Pickering. Who's oh, that other side, then? Ah, I see who it is. Yeah, he's a legend, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all legends. <laughs> it's actually, I think this is I think this is an incredible event. Oh, If amazing. you love freestyle fishing, I mean, uh, just, just come on this. You'll have an experience of a lifetime. You really will. Yes. And uh, so you're obviously coming back. So tell me, are the Welsh or the Scottish going to put a team in the World Championships? That's what I want. Are you going to represent who? It depends whether I can get anybody else 
that can come along with me and hopefully there you go you've heard it here first get in touch with chris let's have a team from wales or or scotland in it can, can you represent both you no as a welshman no. how long you lived in scotland seven years you can yeah you can three years it is you can represent both right yeah. but i know you'd want the, the the dragon on your chest but anyway ah, do you know what at the end of the day we're all human we're all blood and bone ah, yeah forget it yeah we're, we're, if there's a war we're in it together correct i agree we fight we fight together. We, we, end of the day, we're British. We might be English and Welsh, but we, we're British. That's right. And uh, anyway, I've, I've enjoyed you. We've all enjoyed your company, mate, and uh, and can't wait to see you again after this. Thank you very much, My Tommy. My pleasure, mate. All the best. Thank you. Take care. And you. Right. You. Here we go. So, because it's last day, it's, honestly, we've had a, we, it's his first year. We've had a right to a giggle with him. And of course, you know, Scottish, Welsh, English, we've, we've to say the crack's been uh, going backwards and forwards, uh, I can assure you we've had a great giggle. And, uh, and he'll be back, that's to say, obviously bring some friends. Um, right, so, it's straightforward for me today. I'm on fishing sticky maggot feeders. Um, I just, um, uh, it's been better, I don't know if it's the colour or what, I'm not quite sure, but it's just so I'm just going to fish over there. In the trees, I can't get tight like that one, um, so I'm going to fish in deeper water. It's not as deep as I was, ex as I thought it was going to be, which I'm chuffed about. I reckon it's it, 12 foot, which I'm happy about. It seems to be a lot of fish in that depth, and then an edge line straight forward. So, feeding rod and two maggot feeder rods set up, sticky mag feeders, and it's as simple as that, really. I've just set two 12 foot marvelous rods up, and uh, uh with, with 5,000 reels and old 28. Line. I'm just going to do my sticky mag now. We can see it's raining. We're raining all day. It's nice and cosy. So as you can see under there, look, we're all nice and cosy. So I'm just going to sit there. And uh, I actually had a bite yesterday that made me jump off my seat box. It was that violent. I mean, the the fish this year are absolutely vicious. I've never, I've, I've never known them like this. They're like on stairs. It's unbelievable. You are coming, you're like, you're just pulling your arm off. But it's exciting as well at the same time. But uh, I've loved the week. I'd have, I've not been at my best, I'll be honest with you. Um, I found training days very difficult and I've not been in touch with it really. So, my own fault, I can't grumble. But I've enjoyed company at last. I don't think we've ever laughed as much in his life this week. Honestly, we've all just laughed. There's about 17 Englishmen, I think, and honestly, <laughs> What we've done is take Mickey and laugh. It's been a great week. This is, I think this is the best one. Uh, so if you're thinking about coming over, come over on this one, it's a belter. And normally we get some nicer weather as well. So anyway, that's me, uh, me what they call it, my tourism hat on. Um, and, th and that lady I've just shown you, she's one of the two sisters. And they, they run, honestly, they're the best run matches you will ever go on. They're fantastic, absolutely awesome. So let's hope I can finish off with a section win, and that's my target for today. Just win E section. Uh, and I think it's a fair section, in all honesty, so I can't really grumble. Hope we get a few pulls. Well, that's the end. Another one. I've been in Mastered over another great week. Fishing were tough again, but it's. We're not going to be you know what I mean? But we just want the whole thing. So I've had. After, after two hours, enter the bite, enter the fish, and everybody's got one or two. Everybody's caught with me. No line, and nothing. And then at ten past um, two hours, I have a, a little pole poked up, and it was a catfish. Now, two years ago, I never saw a catfish in here, there's been a few caught. Catfish, ten ounce catfish, not one that's too far than you got yesterday. Six kilo something. And uh, well, at least I, I'm dry netted, I suppose. The Welsh wizard had got uh, above me, he'd got two Carasio. And uh, and uh, no signs, and then at uh, 10 past 10 past two, well, three hours and 10 minutes it was, three one. It's gone round, and it's got just started it below, just gone round, got one, got one, two and a half kilo. Got one. That's nice. Never another sign, another bite, and then at three o'clock, about an hour to go, and uh, someone splashed inside, you say, we're bleak, I look round like that, 
and it's first time I took my eyes off tape. And, and I saw a reel going round, pick it up with another one, three kilo. <sighs> Chuck back in, I got a couple of liners, and then nothing. And I tried on my short line just there, eight meters, never had a sign. Went back out, and a quarter, I got, I got two or three lines, I thought, oh, there's a fish there, and it's gone, boom, boom, got one. So I've got three, I thought, all right, then get another one here. And uh, Ulta's gone for five minutes to go and it's gone round. Picked it up and it were a good enough and I've just pulled it off trying to get it in. But I think, I'm not even sure whether it were a fish or what, but I, I had no chance really, I wasn't going to get it in bread to try. And it were a big one, so. And I finished up weighing eight kilo 400. It's stupid, isn't it? I've caught now most of the match and had eight kilo 400. And I don't know where that's going to be. I'll beat these, I think, lad to me right. And then I think next two have dry netted and it's the same way in anyway. Uh, well, we just still finished up with two. And um, lad, other side, he's got a few. He's got four or five carp, but he's not in my section because I haven't started section. So, but I've loved it again. I've had a, we've, honestly, I've never laughed much in my life this week. We've had a cracking week. And fishing's tough, but we know that, you know. So, we'll see. And uh, I'll let you know where I finish in my section. Well, that's the end of another festival. Um, well, they all look haggard, don't they? Jesus Christ. Um, oh. I've weighed 8 kilo, 400, and 9 kilos and 10 grams is second, and I finished fifth. And I've wound that one off and trying to get it in. Although I'm not sure it would up to in gob, but... Um, and I've gone three hours. We had to, we had to fish, so... But each day I've not caught for the first three hours and I don't know, I don't know why. I fished wrong today, I should have fished pellets for two hours and then changed to maggots. And I didn't, I just went straight out with maggots like it was two days previous. And I, I think if I'd have fished pellets, I would have caught enough fish uh, to, I'd, I'd have had, because everybody caught some crass hills at start and I never did. And you couldn't catch one on maggots today, it seemed to be on, uh, on pellets, so... Perhaps got that wrong today, that one, but anyway. So, yeah, so I've had my chance. I, sh I should have had nine kilo. I mean, in theory, I should be in top ten. I should have been second on Friday, second today, and uh, just missed out both days, really, and, uh, and fifth yesterday, fourth yesterday, so I should have had eight points. And uh, and eight points as well in top ten. And uh, well done to Andre again from... Oh, God, he's some fisherman in. Um, he's won it again two years on trial. He's won it by 60 grams. I think they've had six points, two of them, and he's beat all the lad by 60 grams. And um, and Pen Pen Whiting, he's finished third, fair play. First time he's been, fair play to him, awesome. That's an awesome result. Never seen it before. I like to duck to water, really, and uh, and come third. Um, and then we've got, who else we've got it money? Uh, Wayne. Wayne smashed it up today with 45 kilos. Wayne Bartholomew, he's finished sixth, um, and in the money, I think Matt, Matt's not, is it Snodding? He's got it money, and our friend Mark Morris, last it money overall, well done, Matt, we're dead chuffed, because Mark and Ken have drove van for us an hot tattle, so I'm right, I'm right chuffed for him, so I'm right, I'm right chuffed for Mark. Comes here on every festival, he always does, he always does well on this river, does Mark, and uh, he really does, he always catches fish, there's a way of catching fish uh, on here, and uh, fair play to him, but uh, another cracking week, no, I wasn't on the ball at all this week. I've not, I've not, um, I've not been good this week. In all fairness, regarding the fishing, I've not been. Uh, I haven't sorted it out. I've been a bit uh, not lost, but I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for. But I haven't been myself this week regarding the fishing, and I've, I've, I've just been off the boil, as results have shown. Uh, but I should have had, should have had eight points. We're well, there. Should have had two seconds and a fourth, and uh, I've had my chance. I cannot grumble, and I'm not. But I've learned a few. I've learned a lot this week. Uh, I've learned a lot about um, different styles of fishing. I've learned a lot off the Romanians. The Romanians are just some of them are just different league. 
and um, I learnt a lot this week about them and uh, they're quite open to us now uh, they've told us a lot of stuff um, which, which is really nice for the future um, but we've got some good young lads coming I mean you know like uh, we've had you know we've had a freestyle team here and uh, you know we've had a couple of other anglers here having a look at them and different things so and and they've done well done fair, fair play to them all they've all done well which is what main reason why we're here but this festival, if you ever want to go on a festival, just come on, it's best organised match. The fishing can be brutal, I, I will admit that, but it's exciting as well. And, we, you know, we've got a great group of lads, and honestly, we've done some laughing this week. Every text mate, have a laugh. It's best organised match you will ever go on. You're not going to a better organised match than what what the, what, the, what these two lasses do and all and all other lads. And we're weighing and everything. It's fantastic, honestly. It's the best one. If you ever want to go to Spain for a festival, come on this one. They've got the Iberian one in March, but it'll be sold out that. But this one, you can still get on it for next year. And trust me, it's a great week. Thanks to everybody who's organised it. Um, we think we're all here, and we'll be back next year with a sh without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, and thanks to uh, Mark and Ken for driving our tattle over. Um, the, the two rate lads. Um, but uh, yeah, so we've had a good laugh. We're going to presentation now. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm a bit down. I've, I've not done my send justice this week. It, I, my head haven't been in the right place, I don't think. And um, uh, I've not, I, it, I've sort of, my own fault. That's all I can say. That's all I'm going to say. So we'll see. Look forward to it next year. And, uh, well, we'll look forward to spring because we've got some big matches here in March. In March and April, we've got two big matches, so... We're coming back in March, so again, so <laughs> but we've a lot to get through before we get to March, so we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, thanks for your support, everybody. I know everybody's been messaging me, and well done to everybody that's won out. Fair play to them. I think it's first time I've ever been on one of these and not entered a pick up. But as I always say, I can't grumble because I've had my chance, and bad angling has cost it, or bad decisions. I've made bad decisions this week, and it's cost me. So uh, we'll have to, we'll just wait. Anyway, I'm going to get to, I'll be seeing my dog tomorrow and I'll be happy tomorrow.